In this video, we're going to talk about net present value. This chapter deals with talking about project evaluation or how to determine whether or not you should make an investment in the project. And net present value is one of the techniques that you might use in order to make that decision. So let's go through this example problem and then talk about the individual pieces in context and define what we need as we go along. So in this one, we've got an investor that's going to pay $100,000 initially for a five-year investment. This investment is going to return $70,000 at the end of year three, $70,000 at the end of year four, and the investor is going to reinvest these cash flows at 3% interest. And we wanted to evaluate this project based on a 7% annual effective interest rate for a five-year investment and using what we refer to as the net present value. So if we have a time diagram here when the cash flows are going to occur. The $100,000 is the initial outlay. So this is an outflow, if you will, a cash outflow, which is why we consider it negative. We're paying the $100,000 to invest in the project. We've got the two $70,000 investments here at time three and at time four. So these are inflows, cash inflows, so that's why we treat them as positive values. And when we calculate the net present value, we just want to figure out what the present value is of this sequence of cash flows, uh, assuming the uh, constraints of the problem. So in this one, again, we're going to reinvest the 70000 at each of time 3 and time 4 for until we get to time 5. And we want, using a 7% interest rate, we want to see what the net present value of these investments are, these cash flows are, I should say. So let's go through the process. All right, so the net present value is the present value of the cash flows. So obviously, the $100,000 that we lay out initially is the, the value at time zero. What happens with this 70000 at time three? Well, remember, it's going to come out at time three, but we're going to invest it for two years. So we take the 70,000 times the 1.03 squared, gets invested at that 3% interest rate, and then we'll pull it back to time zero using our 7% annual effective rate. Likewise, we'll take the $70,000 at time four, move it forward one year at 3% because it's getting reinvested at 3%, and then pull it back to time zero at the 7% interest value. And when we do that, we get a net present value of 43.54.80. Now, as far as the project evaluation goes, we would invest in a project if it has a positive net present value, and we would not invest in a project if it was had a negative net present value. So in this case, since the present value is positive, we would consider this a, consider this project one that would be worthy of investing in. 